Almost all of the YouTube related questions I get from people are about the YouTube algorithm and how to rank videos higher in search. Now while the algorithm is pretty complicated and changing all the time, it comes down to a few key things and understanding these is crucial if you want to have a chance to grow. What's up everyone, the video nerd here and welcome to the YouTube for Gamers playlist. If you're looking for YouTube graphics to start out, you can check my free YouTube starter pack at Gumroad. And if you're already excited for this breakdown of the algorithm, then smash the like button because it makes me happy. While the algorithm is extremely complicated, for the most part it comes down to two important factors. First of all, there's keywords like most of you know, but then there's also the thing that not everyone understands completely and that's the relation between watch time click-through rate and user behavior, so the overall performance of your video. The first factor, the keyword research, is basically you telling YouTube how people should find your video. You find out what main tag phrase you should be using, you put it in your title, your description and your tags, and then you fill out your tags with any other related search phrases. The tool that I'm using for doing this research is something I think every YouTuber should use, or at least try out. It's TubeBuddy and I'll put a link in the description. It's an amazing tool for a whole lot of tasks. You can do keyword research, comparing the click-through rate of thumbnails, using the bulk processing tool to change text in the description of all your videos all at once. I can't tell you all the features because there are just too many and I will be making a video explaining all of them and I will link it on top when it's finished. When researching your text, you should think about what people who want to see your video will be typing in the search bar. Let's say you just made an awesome guide for Katarina, which is a difficult League of Legends champ, people will probably be searching for Katarina guide. But the chance of you ranking on the first page for a broad and highly searched keyword like Katarina guide is very slim, at least when starting out. So let me explain to you what you should be doing instead. You should be going for long and specific keyword phrases instead of short ones. For example, you would have a much higher chance of ranking on top four Katarina guide for beginners 2020 or Katarina early game guide compared to when you would use Katarina guide as your main keyword. This is because there won't be that many videos that have Katarina guide for beginners 2020 as their main keyword, but there will still be people who are looking for that. So if you focus your whole SEO around that phrase, then when someone actually searches for it, your video will show up. You won't be getting millions of views using such a specific phrase, but you will be getting views and that's the goal as an early YouTuber, not disappearing in the algorithm. So of course you need to research those phrases instead of making wild guesses and you can do that with TubeBuddy, the link is in the description. However, we have something more important to talk about right now because it's time to talk about the second factor. If you executed your keyword research correctly and you can watch the guide on that after watching this video, then you will have optimized your video around a certain tag that has not much competition. This will give you a pretty big chance at ranking against other videos that are on the same server subject as yours because you are using this exact key phrase and people searching for that will see your video. But this is when the second factor comes in, which is your video's performance. Now that your video is on top of the search results, YouTube will determine whether it's worth staying there or not. So how do you make sure that your video stays on top? Well, let me explain that to you. The performance of your video is measured by a lot of things, but the most important ones are your CTR, which is your click-through rate and your watch time. You need to understand that the main goal of YouTube is keeping people on their platform for as long as possible. So the longer that your video keeps people watching, the more YouTube will promote your video. Let's say that our Katarina early game guide is 10 minutes long and is performing well, so it has an average watch time of 4 minutes. That means that when people search for Katarina early game guide and YouTube shows your video and it gets clicked, that will result in 4 minutes of watch time, so 4 minutes that people stay on YouTube because of your video. But here's the catch when your video gets clicked. Your CTR, so your click-through rate, also plays a big role in this. For those who don't know, click-through rate or CTR is how many clicks your video gets compared to how many times it's shown anywhere on YouTube. So if YouTube shows your thumbnail a hundred times on people's screens and it gets clicked six times, then that video has a 6% click-through rate. 
So let's say our competition also makes a Katarina early game guide and people watch that video for 5 minutes on average compared to our 4 minutes. That means that YouTube would keep people longer on the platform by showing our competition's video instead of ours, right? Well, yes, if they would have the same click-through rate. But what if our video has a very good thumbnail and it has a 6% click-through rate while our competition has a slightly better video than us, but their thumbnail has a 3% click-through rate? That means that our video will get clicked twice as much. So when YouTube shows both our thumbnails 100 times, our video gets clicked 6 times and our competition's video gets clicked only 3 times because our thumbnail is worse. Yes, their video gets watched 5 minutes each time instead of the 4 minutes watch time that our video generates, but ours gets clicked twice as much. So when YouTube shows our video 100 times, we get 6 viewers, 6 clicks, because we have a click through rate of 6%, and those people watch 4 minutes on average, so that's 24 minutes that people stay on YouTube when our thumbnail gets shown 100 times. Now our competition's video then gets clicked 3 times out of 100, so it gets 3 times their 5 minutes watch time, which is 15 minutes of watch time per 100 impressions. So I'm sorry for the numbers, but do you see where I'm going? Even though our video will get 1 minute less watch time than our competition, on average it will keep people longer on the platform per impression. And that's the main ranking factor of YouTube videos, watch time per impression. Our video gets watched 24 minutes on average when YouTube shows our thumbnail 100 times, so that gives us 14.4 seconds of watch time per impression. I know that's a lot of numbers, but it's really important when determining how well a video ranks and when determining which videos work on your channel and which don't. As a result of that, YouTube will show our thumbnail above that of our competition because that will keep people longer on the platform. Once you did let that sink in, there's one extra thing I need to say about this. YouTube also tracks the behavior of people after watching your video, so this is where it gets really interesting and tricky at the same time. This is where the strength of your channel as a whole comes in. Since all YouTube cares about is how long people stay on the platform, they measure the whole path a user follows after clicking on your video. So this is why playlists are so powerful, they make people binge watch your content, but it's not as simple as just putting similar videos in a playlist and hoping that people will watch it. I want to explain to you how exactly I made my Streamlabs OBS master course keep people inside of it for 9 minutes on average. If you're ready for that, go to the video on that, I will link it and I'll see you there.